there's an interesting correlation between sunspots and life expectancy. And you're looking at the deterministic graph from the paper, which shows, based on data, that the less sunspots that occurred in the year you were born, the longer you will live. The more sunspots, the less you will live. And, and this is not conspiracy theory. It's science. Solar Energy at Birth and Human Lifespan is a paper uh, that came out back in 2018, December 21st. And the paper highlights that increased solar energy at birth shortens human lifespan an average of eight years. Lower solar energy at birth favors longer lifespan. The effects of high solar energy at birth becomes more manifest after the age of reproduction. And twice as many persons with multiple sclerosis are born in increased solar energy than in the general population. Now, this is, may not be a podcast you want to watch because we're going to show you your average life expectancy based on the sun in this podcast. So if you don't want to know that, please stop watching. Now, the purpose of the paper in the study back in 2018 was to examine the role of UVR at birth and its relationship to lifespan and to determine whether there are any significant differential effects on sex and race. They tested if a variation in UVR as determined by solar cycles is related to the survival as measured by age at death. Death. The data used 78 million death records from the National Centers of Health Statistics from 1979 to 2013 with accidents, suicides, and war casualties deleted. Now, out of the 63 million records, records of persons 47 years were also scrubbed because they could less than or equal to 47 were scrubbed because they could not show an effect on lifespan based on the intensity of the sun. And most of those died from accidental causes. So let's get into some of the data. Here is the haphazard data from the younger data set, which showed no, nothing, no trend. But when they removed all those variables, accidental deaths, and they removed the younger deaths, and they just used people who aged out, let's say. Those with no pre genetic conditions, etc. This is just the general population and when they died of natural causes. And you're going to see an amazing trend here. That the life expectancy of those here, well, let's just go back to the graph. The average age expectancy in females in blue, males in red, peaks right here, right around 30 to 50 sunspots on the year you were born. Now, many of you are wondering, where, how can I find out that information? Well, the links are going to be below in the video where we're going to actually share that information with you because it's here. We've done it. We've done it for you. We've given you the papers. We've made the podcast. And now we're going to share with you the data. But remember, if you don't want to know, don't look. And I've done some research on this. and. People think that uh, this is not true. And they're like, well, what about my mother? And she was born back in 1906. She's 94. And so I was like, okay, well, let me go look. So I'll just go look at the data. And what I find out in 1906 is that there were 53 sunspots. So I, I come over to the graph here. And I say, what does 53 put us here? And that's the maximum life expectancy of females. Yeah. Now, I was born in 1971. And I was a little fearful. And I came over and said, oh, 66.6. What does that mean for me? And that puts me right in the sweet spot right here. Right up top. Right where I want to be. Where, when were you born? Let's say you were born in 1958. 184 sunspots. 
How does that lie? Oh my goodness. Your life expectancy falls down to 44 years, male and female. If you were born in 1958. I know someone born in 1958 and they died young. Yeah. Let's take my uh, grandpa, dead, 1937. High sunspots. So there is all corroboration here. And and I know this is a scary topic, and it's easy. You're going to get the, the link to the graph. You're going to get linked to the yearly mean sunspot numbers so you can figure out your total. And you're going to link to two of the papers, Solar Energy at Birth and Human Lifespan, which is a scary thought to think about. But if you want to know, read the paper, read the data, and make the correlation. The results showed that males of all races born with UVR intensity as estimated by sunspot numbers less than or equal to 90 had an average lifespan. But once it got above 90 sunspots, the lifespan began to decrease uh, quite well. Take a, we'll take a look. Rapidly. By the time it reached over 90 sunspots, lifespan was dropping rapidly. And that once you get above 170 or in the 200 range, if you were born during solar max in the last 20 years and you're a millennial, you're going to die young, period. And that's unfortunate. Or maybe it's not. There is this statistical significance, inverse relationship between exposure to the sun at birth and average human lifespan. Solar energy by some mechanism alters the epigenome at birth, but the effect of higher solar energy becomes apparent after the age of natural selection. If you make it to 47 and you were born during solar max, the chances of you getting old are slim. If you were born during solar minimum with less than 80 or 90 sunspots, you will have an average life. And that's based on science. We're not here to scare you. We're here to share with you information, science and knowledge. Be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. If your grandma is old, check the numbers and see if it all works out. Comment below and be safe. We love you.